Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I don't even know why I'm here. I dug out storage area down there. Bloop. And... Uh, yeah, I dug out the rest of that chunk, and then I'm starting on this chunk over here. I don't know why. Just wasting time. I've got something to show you. Let's get to it. So this is my little hole, my little room that signifies the extent of the Mushroom Island. This is where I first went into it. This is the one tip. Uh, kind of the, the tippy tip over this side. I built mushroom thing here and there's not a whole lot on this end. This is where I started building like the wheat farm and I have the cows, the mushroom farm and uh, I have my brewing area and the wheat farm and all that. And this over here is where I'm starting up the villagers. So I could and maybe should sort of outline in here the extent of the island and kind of the coastline kind of goes up here like this and curves around here so this is nothing i could use this for what i'm about to do i don't know that's going to be necessary but i decided it's time to start working on the on the gold farm and i found an interesting design and we're going to i think we're all ready to um, start on it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, we can deal with this. I'm a little nervous about this, but. So I've got two layers that I carved out here. And it's all like piglin spawnable area. It's so really high up in the nether. Notice, bedrock. Um,. That is designed so that, although we can hear a gas, there shouldn't be much else spotting around here. Um, hang on a second. I've got chaos going on in the kitchen. I will be right back. Oh my gosh. One of the cats just went and dragged a, like a four inch, five inch Santoku, four inch Santoku kitchen knife off of the counter, had been cleaned. She was playing with it on the ground. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to knock out the lights here. I don't know that the lights matter so much, but there's no reason for them, especially. Hi. Yeah, you can't really go up there. I'm going to give you something to focus on uh, in a moment. But let me, let me take out some of these lights. I have a night vision potion. I probably should have made two. Or I should probably should grab two. But that's okay. Um, I believe it's an eight minute night vision potion and there should be plenty. Hi guys. And all of these guys are gonna be like clamoring for something in a moment. So I wanted, it was like, I need a gold farm, and I was starting to gather materials to build the, the typical donut construction gold farm. Um, and but I was thinking, can I, instead of using player aggro, can I instead, let's take this night vision potion. Okay, now I can see. Um, can I use turtle eggs? To... I need some of this. Let me grab some of this out. Can I use turtle eggs to attract the pigment? The answer, of course, is yes. It's a resounding yes. Um, but, but looking around at different designs online, I came across this one. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. Um, it's Ian XO4, and he came up with this. It's actually really cool. The 
can we need any more of this right now? Now, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna place the turtle egg here and put that up. Now all the pigmen are gonna go, wait, there's a turtle egg here, I need to trample it. And oh shoot, I forgot an important Yeah. I need this. Need to light that one. Okay. Now it's important I not go through that portal at the moment. Or I think ever. Alright, so now knock out the torches on here. So there is a portal down there. And there's a dragon egg. Or turtle egg, and all of the big men will have to go trample it, and but they can't get to it. It's protected. And they can't get to it from up here. They can't get to it from down there uh, without walking through the portal. That will be important shortly. Uh, the holes in the corner are so that the non-zombified piglins, when they do spawn, because they will occasionally spawn, uh, they will, they're terrified of the zombified piglins. And so they will run off to the corners and drop down in there and hide in the corner and eventually despawn. Okay, so next thing. Ladders, I need ender pearl. So now I need to find a way up onto the roof of the nether. And we will use F3 to do that. So I need, I need a piece of all the way up there at 127. This will do just fine. So if I do this, put a... Uh, oops. No, you can place... Okay, so now this is nerve-wracking. Whoa! We're on the nether. That's roughly where I came up. Now, if I turn on trunk boundaries up here, I'm pretty sure this is where I built the portal. And I think I have notes, so let's confirm. So, I'm 96, 257. 256. This is exactly, this is right above where the portal is down below. Okay. So, that's good. Now, I've gone through this once in creative, and I've watched the tutorial, which I will link below, because this tutorial is fantastic, and there's no point in me going all crazy. So now, I've done all that. So that's the spawning area. And then what we need is we need to do something. Uh, we need to build something on this end. A couple, a couple somethings. Um, let's see. I need some obsidian. Let's get that out now. And I'll need glass. I don't need you anymore. Don't need you anymore. Uh, okay. I'll need some of this stuff. We will see. And I'll need some of this. So. I have a circle box so I can always do it. So, I'm going to... I'm going to pillar up here using nether rack because I've got a ton of it from digging out those two rooms. And part of the strategy here is that um, the... Oops. Uh, part of the strategy here is that instead of building a structure, I can turn off the grid lines, uh, you can just dig it out of netherrack. And then I'll be up high enough up here that um, nothing below the spawning rooms will be spawnable space. Nothing can spawn on top of that bedrock there. And so we're all in good shape here. 
So I'm, oops, pillaring up to Y244. So my feet are at Y244, which is the number on the left there. Um, and I do like strategy of using the nether rack as a way of, um, of as this building material because you end up with so much of it. It's like I, I ended up throwing a bunch away. I filled up an entire shulker box with nothing but nether rack and, uh, and then took a bunch of leftovers back to the base. I threw it in the, the smelter. Three. I'm saying 244, as you can see right there. And then glass block on top of this. That's why I brought this. I brought this pink glass. I hope it works in the nether. Once the uh, night vision wears off, it'll be a little bit easier to tell. Okay. So I'm standing at Y245, and I want to bridge out. 20 blocks and build a portal frame. So I'm going to do a combination of 20 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think I build it on top of this. Uh, confirm that I'm going to go look at his build video and tutorial. Let me get spawning box. Do not go through this portal. He's got a whole chapter named that, which is, I think, very useful. Okay, so I'm going to go to the killing area. So we are currently building the killing area. Okay, okay let's see here. 244. Oh, the night vision is wearing off. Okay, so he does not build the portal on top, he built it next to, right? Two fifty six, two fifty seven. Let me just confirm. I want to make sure that this portal is directly above the other one. Yes. Okay. Good. So I don't care about that. Okay. So then he builds with some obsidian. He builds a standard two wide nether portal. And as building materials, he uses smooth stone, and I think it works, so I'm going to use that. Oh, I have some slabs in my... This is nerve-wracking, but I am wearing elytra. Um, and he uses slabs, which... Um, I, have, I have slabs, just not in my inventory. That was dumb. So, I've got them in the shulker box, though, so let's go ahead and... Grab them. I grab made a whole bunch of smooth stone slabs specifically for this. Thank you for picking that up. And let's go one, two, three. And then we want to slap this so that it is spawn proof. What I just did was kind of dumb. Okay. Two. But we can deal. So let's get um, no ladders. Poor choice. Let's get let's use these. Good. I just want to be able to um, put slabs up here. Be very careful. Okay. And then he uses glass, although I suppose any block would work, to put a barrier back here so that you can't walk off the backside. Good. 
Uh, let's go back over. Let's see here. And then he lights it. Okay, and then he lights that. So, I don't need torches at the moment. This is going to be an area that I will never really spend much time in, but portal's lit. Now we go back over here. We use this glass to expand this platform a bit. Let's see what he does here. He goes one block out and then goes out to the side. All right, so goes one block out this way and then he expands it out to the sides. Let me make sure that it's, it's he wants it six by six. So this is. Seven, so I'm going to go one, one, three that way, and then I'm going to two out this way. Does that work? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, and then we're going to build this like this. So it's six by six. And this will be, oh, I misspoke. This will be where you spend your time using the farm. This is where the killing chamber is going to go. Um, the clever part of this is what happens in the overworld. So once I build this killing chamber part, three, four, five, um, then we will uh, go through the portal that I'm about to build here, which is uh, fascinating. Okay, so I do need the obsidian. Um, let me get this here. I'm gonna need to get more glass. But not too much. Okay. Let's see what he does here. So this is the portal is here and here. One, two, one, two. Oh wait. One, two, three. One, two. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna put another row of glass here because if I need to take out um I'm going to end up expanding this platform a little bit anyway. So um, I would prefer it give me a little bit more room. So yeah. OK, so now he's going to build, uh, use these stone, smooth stone bricks. And we're going to build up somewhere here and build a little portal. I believe that's five. And okay. And then obsidian. And we're going to build a, uh, we're going to build a portal here. I'm at 249. That's where we want to be. And then I go up here. One, two, three. And get myself one of those slabs. And a slab of jabby. And ow. Blop. three and then one two and then get those slabs back there we go ow okay so the, then they we're gonna remove these temporary blocks okay now this we're gonna put ladders in here so that I can get up to that Build a little platform. And put slabs on top of it, I believe. Let's double check that. Let's put another block here. I uh, may not need this, but I'll put a slab here. Let's see what he does. So let's get to uh, get my glass and yeah, well, that, that's still going to be necessary. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build the 
the sides of the killing chamber. So it comes down to here, right? Yeah. And then make sure we don't fall off to our death. I should switch to my silk touch pick because I'm going to have to take out some of these. And then this comes down here, blop, blop, plop. And then plop, plop, plop. Right, and then from here. Um, we need to get, uh, I need a crafting table. I know I have one created a whole stack of them even though I only need one all right and I believe the crafting table goes right here crafting table goes there and then we take a couple chests we put one oops we put one there and one there so now we have double chests in front of us a little tiny space here and we're probably gonna slap this right Let's see what we do next. Hang on a second. Oh, no. We need glass right here. So. Oops. Yeah. Perfect. So now. Ultimately, the piglins will come through that portal. They'll fall down in here. And then I can stand here with my fortune sword and go swap, swap, swap. And then they will drop all kinds of stuff. Most of the stuff I don't want, but that's what the chest is here for. The idea is that you put all your stuff in the chest and then you fill up your inventory with gold nuggets and like a gold ingot and your sword. And then you just sit here, blah, blah, blah. And then when they're done, you come over to this side here and craft them into uh, ingots and blocks. Okay, so next step will be this. And believe we're going to put a slab up here so that you can't get out of this side. Hang on a second. Okay, so now this back, no, not that. This back here. Block it off so they won't be able to come this way, especially once you get the slab on. Okay, now I can't enter without crouching, but I can crouch. Okay, so this, I believe, is all complete. I will end up using that portal to get in and out. I'll flesh out this bridge a bit because... This is not great, but it will be functional in a moment. So now I'm going to go through this portal. Hope that it's daytime. Of course not. And it put me way underground. It's out of the portal, come on. It put me way underground. I was a little concerned about this. So let's, uh, where am I at? I'm way down. I'm way down. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so, nighttime, not so important. The fact that I'm in a cave is. I was afraid of this. Hello, dude. All right. So, now we get to play Minecraft for a little bit. Let's, uh... So, now, it created... It generated a portal for me. Oh, come on. It generated a portal for me. And because I'm largely under the ocean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Trying to talk here. Um, where did you come from? Oh, shoot. They must, there must be spawning areas up above. There's a spider over there. Eat. Oh. 